Yo, what is up guys, Kansas Marvel here doing another LEGO DC Super Villains video. Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing another uh, fusion character. And for the two characters, I decided to fuse were, uh, it was um, Aquaman and Shazam. Now the reason I chose both of these uh, was because, first of all, I thought it would be a pretty cool idea uh, to see what these two characters look like. And uh, Shazam just came out uh, yesterday. And you know, Aquaman, uh, uh, you know, came out in December, so fairly recently. So yeah, I just thought it would be a pretty cool idea to uh, make fuse these two characters, and actually the outcome was very, very, very good, man. I, I think this is probably my favorite fusion character. Now I know I say that I'm probably about all of them, but uh, yeah, this one was just—it just looks super, super cool, man. I'm super uh, happy with the way it turned out. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Oh yeah, before we do get started, though, I do want to say the name. I know it's, <laughs> it sounds dumb, uh, but that's really all I, all I could come up with was Shaqua, you know, Shazam, Aqua, man, you know. I'm probably not going to put it in the, in the title just because I think it sounds dumb. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Alright, so for the head, you want to. I decided to go to preset and go all the way up to Aquaman's and use Aquaman's head instead of Shazam. Because honestly, Aquaman and Shazam kind of have a similar face type, you know. Uh, but the difference is um, Aquaman has those, um, <clears throat> those golden uh, blonde eyebrows. So for the hair, I decided to go with a uh, Shazam's hair, which is wavy number four, and to go ahead and make it yellow. For um, so you want to match the yellow with his eyebrows, so it's kind of like like I said, a goldish yellowish color. All right, so for the body, I decided to go to preset and go all the way down to Shazam's, and I think this body piece actually works pretty good because it actually looks like a, a mixture of Shazam and Aquaman, you know, with that golden belt and with the lines going through the torso. I think it looks pretty good. I'm I'm very happy with the way that looks. All right, so now on the hands. So for the hands, you just want to go ahead and give some uh, solid green hands. For the arms, uh, I decided to go to uh, use um, Shazam's as well. So go to Shazam and then just make them orange. All right, so we're gonna make the lower part of his body uh, green, you know, kind of like Aquaman's. So for the hip piece, uh, I went with a let's see, uh, I think it was um, Shaz no Black Adams, yeah, because they don't have a Shazam piece, they have, they have Black Adam. So you wanna go with Black Adam and just make it green. So it's not the darkest green. I, be I guess you could go with a dark green. But I just like the way the screen looks better. So I just went with that one right there. And for the legs, um, it's, it's kind of weird that they don't have a Shazam or a Black Adam legs. Because uh, their legs have like golden boots. Which I think looks very, very cool. And I, I would prefer the golden boots over like just making, going up to boots and you know, giving them green legs and the yellow, yellow boots. You know, I think it looks good I guess. But uh, I, I would prefer the golden boots. So the next best thing was a Big Barda's. Uh, you know, as you can see he has those golden boots. And then just making the legs uh, green. And I think it actually looks works out pretty good because you know he has those black stripes uh, on his legs, and I think it just adds more detail to the whole piece overall. All right. So now onto the cape piece. So for the cape, uh, I just I was gonna originally give him just like a, a regular cape, you know, and make it like green, or orange, or whatever. But I actually like the way Shazam <laughs> looks. You know, the golden really like adds a nice touch to the whole piece. You know, with the legs, the boots and the golden piece on his arms and the white you know it just looks it looks good I think I, li I like it a lot so I'm not gonna change nothing there alright so this is where the, the whole piece really comes together and it looks super super cool so for the I'm gonna be giving him a left and right hand glow and for the effects you wanna go ahead and make it an, an electric effect alright so for the color of these um of, these, of this electricity type stuff I was gonna make it a yellow like Shazam's electricity but then I started thinking you know sh uh, Aquaman you know he has water powers and I thought it'd be a cool idea, you know, kind of give him a aqua blue lightning, you know, and to kind of, you know, mix with Aquaman's watercolor and then Shazam's electricity. So I thought it was a pretty cool idea. And it actually turned out pretty cool. I like the, I like the final design of this. I think it turned out really good. So, you know, with the blue lightning, I think it looks pretty cool. All right. So for the jump slam effect, I went ahead and made the same blue as um, his fist there. And same thing for the hit impact. All right. There we go. All right, guys. So now on to personality. Personality. So for the health icon, I decided to make it a orange color for the health type, make it standard. You could go with uh, Invulnerable because, you know, it's two very powerful characters mixed into one. But uh, Invulnerable, actually, you know what, yeah, let's go ahead and make it Invulnerable. Why not? <laughs> uh, voice, male voice, target reticle, I went with the flash just because he has this little lightning bolt there. Uh, speed, normal, and for the animation style, it doesn't really matter too much because we're going to be giving him a weapon anyway, so you don't got to worry about that too much. Alright, so for the weapons, I did go into the stabs and give him a trident. Uh, but instead of making the trident gold, I decided to make it a, the same blue as his fist, so it can kind of look like he's creating the, the the trident from his electricity. So I thought that was a pretty cool concept idea, you know, and I think it actually works out pretty good, you know. Looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like he's making it out of lightning, you know, so 
I think it looks really good. And even though I'm not a big fan of the way uh, the animation is with, with a, like a trident or any kind of staff, I still think that looks pretty cool. Alright, so for the animation style, we're not going to be giving him anything from triangle. But for X, we'll go ahead and give him a flight. And uh, for hold, we'll go ahead and, and leave the hyper jump on. For X, well, we'll leave it blank. And then for uh, tap square, we'll give him a uh, electric beam coming out of his uh, weapon. So like that. And then we'll make the color. We'll leave the, we'll leave it at the same as his fist and stuff. All right. So now moving on to the uh, tap circle. So for tap circle, I went with uh, electric bolts again uh, coming out of his trident. Now you could go with um like uh, bolts coming out of like his hand or whatever. But I just think coming out of the trident looks cool, cooler in my opinion. So I'm trying to find the electric bolts. I think it's just bolt style number three. Yeah. All right. So now on to um. All right. Wait. Did I already do this? Yeah. No, I did it. <laughs> no, I did it. All right. So for a hold uh, circle. So for hold circle, let's see. What can we give him? I guess a uh, uh, explosion attack. Um, let's see. What style? Mm, something with with like some electricity, I guess. So yeah, style number two, and then um, the explosion effect. The yeah, looks pretty cool. I like style number four, and we'll make it an electric explosion again, and then we'll make the same color as his fist. All right, guys. So I. I think uh, now it's just on his skills and we'll be done with this one. Alright, so for the skills, uh, we'll leave grapple, or actually we'll, we won't, uh, we won't have no grapple, uh, no technology, uh, definitely acrobat, uh, no mind control, no telekinesis, wall climbing, super strength, and smash walls, uh, chlorokinesis, uh, beam deflect, uh, no goon command, no x-ray, no graffiti, tracking definitely, hazard protection and illumination and stealth. Alright guys, so I think that pretty much does it for our shock <laughs> uh, Like I said, not a very good name. I probably won't add it in the title, but yeah, you know, it's, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about that right now. You guys can come up with better names down in the comment section below. But yeah, man, I'm super, super happy with the way this one turned out. Like, I, I, I think this is legit my favorite uh, custom fusion character so far. I just like the way it looks so much. I'm very, very pleased. And I'm happy I did do it, though. And I'm, I'm excited to go watch Shazam. I'm going to watch it, um today you know to later on today so i'm pretty excited about that so here is guys our custom shazam and aquaman fusion in lego dc super villains and i gotta say man it looks so cool i just can't get over the fact i don't know why i just like it so much you know some of you guys might not like it might not might not like it the same as me but i just think it looks so cool so yeah here's shazam next to uh, aquaman or shaku i should say and as you can see you know the torso the legs the arms the hair piece it's, it's you know the cape it has some similarities with um with Shazam, I think I, I think I did a pretty good job. And then with um, Aquaman up here, you know, you can see he has the, pretty much the colors and the trident, except it's not gold and it's not exactly the same. But yeah, man, I'm very happy with the way this one turned out. Um, I should probably showcase some powers. So I gave him an electric beam with hold. I think it looks pretty cool. We gave him the jump slam effect. It looks very cool as well. Uh, let's see what else we do. Yeah, I really like the way he's when he's like. Swinging away with this trident looks pretty cool. And then for hold, we gave him an explosion attack, an electric explosion attack. So yeah, pretty much that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think, like I said, I really like the way this one turned out. Um, hopefully you guys did as well. Uh, stay tuned for more videos coming soon. I'll probably be doing more Avengers Endgame stuff on, on a Monday. Or, or Sunday I might make a video. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, just stay tuned for more videos, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys later. Take care. Peace.